Let's move on now to other stories. The American Census Bureau has released the demographic data showing how the U.S. has changed over the past decade. It is the most detailed account of the demographic changes in the country since the year 2010. U.S. Census data release shows that the United States is an increasingly diverse country as there have been significant increases in the number of people who identify as multiracial, Hispanic and Asian. These categories have driven much of the population growth between 2010 and 2020. The multiracial population has changed considerably since 2010. It was measured at 9 million people in 2010 and is now 33.8 million people in 2020, which is a 276% increase. The Hispanic or Latino population, which includes people of any race, was 62.1 million in 2020. The Hispanic or Latino population grew 23%, while the population that was not of, of Hispanic or Latino origin grew 4.3% since 2020. The white population remains the largest race of ethnicity group in the United States, with 204.3 million people identifying as white alone. But its share of the overall population is declining. The white alone population decreased by 8.6% since 2010. The U.S. is now 57.8% white, 18.7% Hispanic, 12.4% black and 6% Asian. The data also offered new details of the country's slowing rate of population growth. The population growth is lower than it has been at any time aside from the 1930s and more than half of all U.S. counties lost population from 2010 to 2020. New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Houston and Phoenix remain the five largest U.S. cities. Phoenix, which grew faster than any other city in the top ten, surpassed Philadelphia. The fastest growing cities across the U.S. are now in suburban areas. The data release arrives months later than originally expected as the census took longer to complete due to the pandemic. The delay has forced some states to go to court to postpone their redistricting. States use the data to redraw district lines for the U.S. House of Representatives after each decennial census. Now, the data will shape how $1.5 trillion in federal spending will be distributed to each state and local area. It will also be used by the state demographers to redraw political maps across an increasingly diverse country ahead, of course, of the 2022 midterm election. Our correspondent Susan Tehrani has more details on the U.S. Census Bureau report in this next ground report. Take a look. The new census report shows that the U.S. population is diversifying and the white population is shrinking. It's a portrait of how the United States has changed in the last decade, and it's important because it is used to redraw the country's political map in the next decade across the United States. It may also be used to help determine the control of the U.S. House of Representatives in 2022 and provide a political edge for the next decade. While the white population did see an increase in some states and communities, the population for individuals under the age of 18 remained quite diverse. Susan Tehrani from New York for We On World Is One. We On World Is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.